President of Moldova, Maya Sandu, President of the Senate of the Czech Republic, Milos Vestrasil, former Prime Minister of Slovakia, Ivata Vladichova, Executive Director of Foreign 2000 Foundation, Jakub Klepor, distinguished guests, democracy advocates, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to join you all virtually at the 25th Foreign 2000 Conference. First, I would like to thank the Foreign 2000 Foundation for inviting me again to take part in this important event. I also want to express my appreciation to Executive Director Kurt Paul and his colleagues at the Foreign 2000 Foundation for their persistent support for Taiwan. I sincerely treasure this friendship. Second, I want to take this opportunity to congratulate former President of the National Endowment for Democracy, Mr. Carl Gershman, on receiving the inaugural Foreign 2000 International Award for Courage and Responsibility. For more than three decades, Mr. Gershman's unwavering dedication to promoting democracy and facilitating democratic unity worldwide has set an example for us all. Carl is also an old friend of Taiwan and a staunch supporter of Taiwan's democracy. With his support and assistance, Taiwan established Asia's first democracy advocacy and assistance foundation, the Taiwan Foundation for Democracy. And the TFD will celebrate its 20th anniversary next year. The last time I saw Carl was in 2019 when I recognized him with the order of brilliant star with Grant Corden for his exceptional contributions to democracy and the Taiwan-US relationships. I recently learned that Carl retired this year, so I want to wish you a happy retirement. I also want to welcome you to Taiwan again when the pandemic recedes. Now, even as efforts to prevent the spread of COVID-19 remain, we are slowly approaching the post-COVID era. With that, there are important new issues that require our attention and joint efforts. Issues such as how should the global democratic community recover and be better and stronger? How can democracy cooperate to face the challenges of rising authoritarianism? And how can democracies facilitate active citizen participation? I am glad to see that this year's Forum 2000 conference is dedicated to facilitating discussions between democracies and their advocates to deliberate on these pressing and vital issues. Our friends from Central and Eastern Europe know all too well how precious democracy and freedom are. Emerging from the pandemic, authoritarian regimes are now even more confident that their alternative model is more adaptive than the democratic systems. Through gray zone activities, military threats, and information manipulation, authoritarian regimes aim to erode our citizens' confidence in democratic institutions and polarize our societies. Taiwan stands on the front line of this assault, and we have been working diligently to combat such coercion. We will share our experience and continue working with like-minded countries to safeguard the liberal democratic world order and to tackle the unprecedented challenges from authoritarian regimes. We will also keep striving to be part of the solution for the international community's efforts to tackle issues such as economic downturn, climate change, and emerging diseases, non-proliferation, terrorism, and secured supply chains. Last month, European Commission's President von der Leyen announced the launch of Global Gateway, a connectivity grant strategy that supports investments and quality infrastructure, as well as connects goods people and services around the world. In addition, the EU has proposed the Europe-Asia Connectivity Strategy, which advocates for a sustainable, comprehensive, 
and rules-based approach to connectivity. Taiwan is ready to be an indispensable partner to Europe, not only in democratic renewal, but also in sectors such as biotechnology, renewable energy, data protection, ocean governance, and the semiconductor industry. Taiwan's high-tech sector will also play a crucial part in creating a secure global supply chain that protects critical technologies from exploitation. In addition, Taiwan has an innovative role to play in high-precision manufacturing, artificial intelligence, renewable energy, biotech, and many other sectors, which can help create a more diverse and resilient global supply chains that can withstand interruptions. We also encourage the European Union to establish a bilateral investment agreement, that is BIA, with Taiwan. Such an agreement will strengthen our mutual interests and solidify our shared values. Taiwan is ready to shoulder its share, and we will not take our partners' support for granted. As Foreign Minister of Lithuania, Lance Bergui said, freedom-loving people should look out for each other. Despite the pandemic, the past year and 10 months have been exemplified by resilience, strength, friendship, and partnership. Taiwan donated material and provided assistance to Europe at the onset of the pandemic, and our European friends came to Taiwan's aid with life-saving vaccines. Before concluding, I want to take this opportunity to reiterate my deepest gratitude to our like-minded friends from across Europe, particularly Lithuania, Poland, Slovakia, and the Czech Republic, for coming to our assistance during such a critical time. I also want to express appreciation to Lithuania for its determination to establish mutual representative offices with Taiwan by the end of this year, despite tremendous pressure. The world has changed considerably because of the pandemic. While there are still many challenges ahead, I see democracies working together to help each other, to safeguard our shared values, and to serve the interests of the international community. While we will surely face great challenges again in the future, I am confident that by working together and believing in the values of democracy and freedom, we will always triumph. Lastly, I want to thank Mr. Klepor again for the invitation to address the participants of this important conference. I wish this year's Forum 2000 conference great success, and I look forward to seeing you all at Forum 2000 in Asia in Taiwan next year. Thank you very much.